33 for the early lead. So great start throwing the ball for Corral, picking apart the defense, but they get down in the red zone. Really <laughs> right. yourself in. They're gonna get some G G-force there. <laughs> And off Ely breaks a tackle. It's a block downfield. First down, a lot more. Try to rip the ball out. He holds on, keeps it to the 30. DeMarvin Leal, one of the studs up front for AM, limped off after that play. Inside the Paris is off. And he takes a shot, holds the football, and the Rebels are near the 20. 36th fourth down attempt for this team this year, by far the most in the FBS. Big moment early here. Corral looking to his left. Five! Touchdown! Drummond on the slant was wide open. What a drive. What a drive. 92 yards. Watch the move right here to the outside. Watch how he moves outside as if he's going to a fade. Man to man to the outside, then back to the inside. And a really nice pick to the outside. So the strength of this defense is the front. And we've seen a couple players now dealing with some injuries. Corral over the middle. A man running free, and it's Pearson out across the 40. Corral pulls it, and he'll be sacked. Ball is loose, and the Aggies recover it. That was not free by Leal, and Tyree Johnson is the sack master. Comes up with the recovery. That was a wacky game. Ely picks his way, breaks free into the secondary. Great speed, they'll try to chase him down, and they do, but a monster gain inside the Aggies, 40. Really doing a good job of being able to get through some of these arm tackles. Parrish spells him on second and four. He makes a cut. He's got room. They've got a first down in the red zone. How about the balance between one pass so far for Kiffin's offense? Second and goal. Corral keeps it. They were ready for that run, and he lost the ball again. A scramble for it way back at the 20. The Rebels will maintain possession, but for the second time. Of course, they had a scoop and score. It's the only touchdown scored in the Auburn game. Knocked the ball up. Actually, did knock it. Bo Nix just dropped the ball. And Michael Clemens scooped that up and ran in. So the field goal by Costa makes it 13-0. Thank you, Matt. And second and four. Calzada keeps it. Nowhere to run. And just gets to the ground. Sam Williams was ready for that little wrinkle. Someday. Someday do it. Yeah. Corral back to work. Fires over the middle. And coming back to make a beautiful hand sketch was Braylon Sanders. A little bit behind him. He grabs it for 20. And off. Sue Cutter, secondary, lowers the shoulder, delivers a blow. They're getting chunks of yardage at the 14. Is doing such a good job opening up things. 54 on the left there. Caleb Warren, look at that hole. I mean, he's pushing around the linebacker, Hansford. And these backs don't need a lot of room to work. Aggies hanging in there. Ole Miss ran four plays from the one-yard line. Couldn't get in. Second possession tie. They got another one and haven't gotten a touchdown. Now trying to avoid the safety. It's better, and he couldn't get out. Couldn't get out of the end zone, and Ole Miss's defense continues to play inspired, superb football. Watch seven off the edge, quick, gets inside. Spiller has to try to jart, dart to the outside, and the penetration by Chance Campbell and the rest of this defense. There's seven, there's 44, and the rest of that defense cleaning it up along with Kadron Smith. This kid really works at that aspect of the game, so processing along with the release helps him play fast. And an improvisation play flips it to Ely. He was in the grasp of defenders and makes a play, and they're in Aggie territory inside the 40. Wow. It's fun to watch. It, it is. This time he just, it, last second, again, he reminds me like of a Baker Mayfield. Goes for his 68th career field goal to get AM on the board, and he knocks it inside that left upright from 30 yards. So AM. Going to throw again in first down over the middle. That's wider. Meyer makes the catch, takes a big hit, holds on, and he's across the 40. A chain breaks a tackle. 
He can fly. A chain ducks out of bounds at the 41. They're starting to pick up chunks of yardage now. Watch him here take on this block, endures it, and he gets right underneath that block. It's a true freshman. His drone's got a bright future. A chain has a hole and accelerates, weaves his way, and finally. The touchdown drive for the Aggie offense is over. They reach the end zone. Preston threw a block downfield. It wasn't. All of a sudden, it's 15-10. He goes to the right of the formation. It's a chain running that direction. A quick burst of speed. A first down and a lot more. Still running hard. Still down to the 10-yard line. First and goal. Big field goal here. They try to cut the lead to two. Small, one for one. And knocks this one just inside the right upright. So AM ball game. 13 points in a row. 10-19 to play. He's been scrambling, but not a lot of design run where they're trying to get him loose. They're trying to save him. Ely tries to get around the corner. Stiff arms a couple of defenders and still running hard. And powers down inside the 45. What a night he's had. Second and ten against the three-man run. Calzada moving those feet around and delivers a throw, and it's Caleb and picked off, off the hands of the receiver, and picked off by Sistrunk, who makes back-to-back -back monstrous plays for the Rebels' defense. Of a ball that goes into the air after Demas is unable to hold on to it. It's high off of his hands, and in great awareness by Sistrunk to hold on to that ball and fight for it as they both go down to the ground. You can see he's looking to the middle of the field, middle of the field at the last second. Tries to get the ball outside to Demas. Demas, six foot three, is a tall receiver with long arms, went up high. Offensive linemen have a, a tougher job at defense, getting the pin in their ears and they're getting upfield. Boom! Touchdown! Take that! Snoop Connor just bolts straight up the middle. That saw the red zone woes. And the Rebels cash in the pick and stretch the lead with six and a half to play. And then they all of a sudden they couldn't be able to, they couldn't run the football in the red zone. What's going on? What's wrong with this offense? And like you said, blink of an eye. Safeties, linebackers out of position, and the big fella takes it into the end zone. Inside of five minutes by the time they run this play and have two plays to get the 10 yards you think here comes pressure Calzada steps up and delivers a throw it's picked off picked off by Finley AJ Finley down the sidelines touchdown Ole Miss pick six but he's waiting until he finally feels that Smith is going to get separation to the outside see the ball's late thrown late and behind his receiver who's on an out cut it's a no no obviously and Finley takes advantage of it and makes Calzada pay for it. Finley, the junior, free safety at a mobile. He's really, he's grown, he's improved. He's one of those guys who just got better and better as the season's gone on. And the last couple of weeks, just monster playmaking. Yeah, best couple safety. games he's probably played in his entire career, and it continues. And then win at LSU. Desperation time. Rebels rushing three. Cows out against eight and covers, delivers a nice dart, strong arm throw across the middle to Anaya Smith, who's quickly into Rebels territory. Cougars and Ducks beginning on ESPN News. We'll have it here on ESPN at the conclusion of this one. Calzada running around, back pedaling, trying to make something happen and delivers a strike. Catch made down near the 12 yard line there by Weidermeyer. Calzada doesn't realize that, that game clock is running. They, they wasted 10 seconds there. A chain has space, stiff arm touchdown. And now we'll see one of those two point plays as they have cut the lead to 10 here with 3.11 to go. Go back to this. Just anytime you see receivers blocking, you like to see that. I love that Jimbo's not just getting, he's not panicking. Even though he's down 16, he's got to throw the ball. He's trying to keep the clock where he has a chance, but trust his running game. A back who's averaging nine yards a carry. And the receiver that time, Smith, helps him out. Or Demas, rather, helps him out. Aggies need two here to keep the football. Calzada back pedaling, and he'll go down. Tavius Robinson, a backup tackle, punctuates this defensive performance with a sack. That's it. It's a hard-fought victory for Ole Miss.
get out to a 15 nothing lead it was cut to two two late interceptions are important and the rebels go to eight and two aggies drop to seven and three and drop out of contention pretty much gives alabama the sec west thanks for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus